I can bring honor to my cow. You have a cow? If you have made it this far, it is no fluke. This is Corey, Brandon, your semi-final match. Or as ready as we can be. I'm not ready. From the last <laughs> match, I told everyone else to make that little spinner and I didn't I didn't get one. Long considered inappropriate. What US film showed the first ever toilet flushing on screen? Do you want to go first or you want to let me go first? Uh, we can just wing it. I feel like I have an answer. Do you have an answer? Uh, we'll see what your answer is. Then I'll answer your question. I'm thinking that I would go with A, Psycho. I am going to agree on that one because the only scene I can think of is in the bathroom scene. So there might have been a toilet flush there. Well, the correct yeah. answer is A, Psycho. Nicely done. Today's going to be a, a tough battle. I can feel it. Hope they get harder from here. <laughs> Hattie McDaniel was the first African-American actress to win an Oscar for supporting actress in 1940, Gone with the Wind. Whoopi Goldberg was the next actress of color to win an Oscar in Ghost, again for supporting actress. What was the time gap between these awards? We were starting in 1940, and what was the next? I mean, I feel like Whoopi Goldberg, she's kind of she's kind of old now, and I feel like she probably would have succeeded as an actress younger in her career. So I feel like the, the 90s, which would be the 51 years, would be like too, too late on in that. So, so my instinct is telling me that I would go with B, 37. Or you have a very fine mind. As you were speaking those words, that, that was exactly what was going through my head. I was trying to do some mental math. Same answer for me. The answer is A, 51 years. Oh my God, really? You know, did I just mishear that? Because I wanted 50 years, 51 years. <laughs> Following Corey will get you nowhere, I promise. Corey, you led me astray. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm explaining my logic. What is Rebel Wilson's home country? Oh, I can hear her voice in my head. I'm going C, New Zealand. So I don't think it's England. Kind of a toss up between Australia and New Zealand. I'm going New Zealand. I know it's that like Australian S accent. And I feel like I've heard before that she's from Australia. So just hitting it with A, A for Australia. Well, you know, I'm really good with accents. But I do know for a fact that the answer is A, Australia. Nice. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this movie had the largest stunt explosions of all time with a total yield of 68.47 tons of TNT equivalent. That's 8,418 liters of kerosene with 33 kilograms of powder explosions which lasted seven and a half seconds. You know, I, I heard a very interesting fact the other day related to this. And I heard that Transformers used to have the highest and that something surpassed it. So my guess would be that it was Spectre that surpassed it. That's a very good line of logic. However, I think you misheard. I think Transformers still has it. The correct answer is C, Spectre. Oh no. Nice. Oh no. Corey, that brings you to three. Brandon, you are at one. The next question could put the game out of reach for you. It's do or die. Before Arnold Schwarzenegger, which of the following stars was considered for the role of the Terminator, ultimately being deemed too nice? Out of all three, I'd say Keanu is the nicest. However, I just cannot picture him as the Terminator. I'm gonna go Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know, I, I like I like your logic. I just feel like at the time the Terminator was coming out, I don't feel like Dwayne was doing much acting at the time. I would go with C. I feel like Keanu 
is nice, and he would have been acting around that time as well. The correct answer was B, O.J. Simpson. Wow. Dang. Uh -oh. Oh, no need for bonus. Oops. This is the point of the show that we enter bonus round land. Any points you've earned up to this point now are up for grabs to double if you can answer the next question correctly. James Cameron's blockbuster, Avatar, from 2009, is a feat of CGI. Though the director was convinced that the technology needed to create the film was ready back in this year. I remember hearing that he was like, I want to make this movie. And I feel like he can, like my idea of that conception of the movie is in the 90s. At somehow at some point but I don't know if he like thought of it in the 90s and it wasn't until the 2000s that he was like that we're ready to make this film or if I'm just completely wrong and I have no idea what I'm talking about but following that logic I would go with a 1999 2005 is just too close to the actual release date that wouldn't make sense for the director to say in 1999 I think it's just a little too early I'm going B, 2002. The correct answer was B, 2002. After mm, seeing Gollum and Lord of the Rings. A little best oh, yeah. he's proud of me. Brandon, you have doubled your points. You've doubled one to two, but unfortunately you have just missed Corey by one point. It was a good match, Brandon. Twas. Well played. Well played. Did we learn something? Hey, I tried to I tried to employ some logic on some of those, and sometimes it was just completely wrong. And I definitely I definitely learned some stuff. I feel like none of these I was 100% confident in. So we learned something. We we know something new. Well, I can't thank both of you enough for joining on this journey. I'm afraid this is the end for you, Brandon. <laughs> Put Corey, up. Corey has the high ground. <laughs> oh, I was going for that winning thing. Oh, whatever it was. Corey, you are headed to the final round. I'm feeling shocked, amazed, proud. There's a whole bunch of emotions going on. But who do, who do you have to thank? Oh God, probably my laziness and YouTube watching. Thank you, everybody, following along in this tournament. We've had a blast here. Uh, we have another semi-final match coming up, and then the final's right around the corner. Can't wait to see you there, and until then, keep watching movies.